In this video, we are going to look at Gamma App, one of the best AI presentation maker tools available today. Gamma's AI easily designs layouts and content based on your prompts and preferences. It can summarize text, rewrite, create images, embed GIFs, videos, charts, and much more. You don't have to worry about formatting, styling, or positioning as the app takes care of everything with a single click to make your presentation look more concise and professional. Let me walk you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to use its best features. To begin, head to the following website, gamma.app. Sign up for free. Once you're logged in, you will find here three options. Create new AI, new from blank, or import. Let's try the first one, create new. Here, you'll be prompted to select one of the following options. First one is paste in text, which means you can create from notes, outline, or existing content. The second option is to generate, which is create for an online prompt in a few seconds, which is mostly using AI. The third option is to import a file, which is in the case that you already have a content in a PDF, Word document, or any kind of file. Let's try the middle one, generate, which is the most popular one. So click on continue. Here you will find three options, presentation, document, or a web page. When you click on presentation, you will have some options. For example, the first one is how many cards, how many slides you want to create. And the language will keep it on default, English, but you have here some options to choose from. In the chat box, you can type in your topic or just describe what you want to make a presentation about. Here at the bottom, you have some suggested topics. So we have a pitch deck for a new social media platform, college presentation, Monsters of the Deep Oceans. This sounds an interesting one. Let's try this topic here. So if we click on it, it will ask you to generate an outline. So it generated an outline here. You have the option to delete or add cards. For example, if you're not happy with this one, you can just click on the card and it is deleted. Under the outline, you have settings where you can adjust some of the content before it is generated. For example, amount of text per card, you want it brief, medium, or detailed. Let's go with medium, then image source. We have some options here as well. So do you want web image search or AI images? Let's say we want AI images here. Let's choose that one. Image style. So do you have, do you have any preferences regarding the style here? I'm going to leave it as default and click on continue. Next, it will ask you to pick a theme. We have options on the right hand, and you will see a preview on the left side. For example, if we want to choose this one here, you'll see a preview if you like it. Let's go with this one and click on generate. Now the app is generating the content for the 10 slides. It actually generated the content in less than 30 seconds, which is great. On the left side, you have the cards listed. Click on any of them and start editing. Now you can edit the text, for example, here, and then you get these options, the text size, color, bold, and other features as well. On this icon here, you can change the layout of the card, the image of the card if you want to edit it, and it gives you some options here. So if you have your own prompt, you can just um, input it here, or the AI will do that for you. So if you want to change this image, it can be changed easily. You can change the card color as well and some other features. On the right side, you have this bar of tools that can help you edit the cards further. Let's try the first one. So this is Edit with AI. Here, it will give you some suggestions of things that you can change in the cards. 
For example, make this more concise, suggest a professional theme, give me a more exciting way to say this, and more. Let's say you have something specific that you want to edit in the card. For example, add an image and click on Go. So now it's looking for a good image to add to that card. And it gives you some options here. So here are some options. If you like them, you can choose one. For example, if you want this one, just choose somewhere where you want to drag it. Let's say we want it here at the bottom of this page. Then it's going to add it. Let's see how it looks like. And you can adjust it as well. By just dragging these corners. And so forth. Now, if you change your mind and you think this is now this is not what you wanted, you can always delete it and go back to the original card. Let's look at the other features in this bar. The second one is card templates, where you can change a template of a card. Then we have layout options. So if you want columns, four columns, three columns, or bullet layouts, you have these options. Here we have where you can edit the text, headings, title, headings, which you can do as well if you highlight the text. Then we have if you want to add an image, whether an image that you can upload, a web image, AI images that it can generate, and splash images, which are free images, GIFs, icons, and others. Clicking on this will give you the option to embed or upload videos in on the slides. Here we have uh, the option to embed apps. And then the last one is forms and buttons, where you can insert forms, for example, Google Form in any of the slides. Let's try this one. Then it will ask you for the link or the code. Now, if you're happy with the slides, you can go ahead and just download them. You can share the PowerPoint. You can also read the analytics. So once you share that, this is a really good feature. Card engagement, you'll know how much, how many people viewed the card or engaged with it. So the analytics, you have some options here as well. So you can you can look at the version history, which is very practical if you want to restore to an older version of this PowerPoint or slides. You want to store it. You can also duplicate this content. You can, at the end, download it or export the, this one easily. So export to PDF, export to, to PowerPoint. Let's say we want to export it to PowerPoint. Just click on Export to PowerPoint wait for a few seconds, and then you will find it uploaded or downloaded. Now it's ready for you to use. You can also present it online, and this is how it looks like. So you can go through these slides or cards. Just one last step, you can also create content if you already have an existing file. You can click on Import a File, then it gives you the option to import from Drive or upload a file, and then using the same steps that we used earlier. Gamma offers a free plan at sign up that includes 400 AI credits, and the exported files will carry the Gamma brand. If you believe this offers good value for your time and effort, you have the option to upgrade to a paid subscription. I hope you find this video helpful in learning about the best features in Gamma.app. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.